Hi. This is a bit different from other video formats I do, but hey, sometimes you just need to step out of your comfort zone a little bit. This video concept is stole it, I mean inspired by any Austin's videos on a similar topic, but for Skyrim. Consider this a sort of low-key analysis of all the citizens of Kakariko. I'll be doing this in both Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom, so let's start off with... Breath of the Wild. Let me introduce you to Ollie. Ollie stands here, sleeping, all day, every day. Yes, I even stood here for an entire in-game day. He is always sleeping, but he is an innkeeper, so he's employed. Next, we have Braca and Bugut. They're both travelers, so they don't really count, but they also seem to stick around Kakariko for like the entire game. So I guess they're sort of unofficial residents. Braca seems to make a living selling gems, judging by her dialogue, and Bugut sells items. So they are employed, but I won't count them toward the total. Rola is the shop owner for the Curious Quiver, so employed. So is Teresa, the owner of the local produce store, High Spirits Produce, also employed. Their schedules are sort of the same, just standing around running their shop, not really much to it. Steen, Trisha's husband, does actually have a schedule, which consists of standing around inside the shop, going outside to attack the air, then returning to the carrot farm to supply his wife's shop. Employed. So, the two kids of Kakariko, Coco and Katla, I won't count. They can't really have jobs quite yet, and all they do all day is uh, child stuff. Dorian's schedule consists of chilling with his kids, guarding the outside of the chief's hut, and sleeping for four hours. Who even needs sleep anyway? Kato's schedule consists of standing guard, watching his chickens, then sleeping. Now would probably be a good time to let you know that NPCs, in fact, do not have a get into bed animation. They will literally stand there until morning if you stay with them. Oh, yeah, Kato's also employed. Impa is the village chief, so definitely employed. However, the same cannot be said for Paya. Her schedule is praying, sitting in her room, sleeping, and scrubbing this spot on the floor. And unless she's being paid to scrub this specific spot on the floor, I'm gonna have to say she's unemployed. Pekango here isn't a resident, but he is an artist. Employed. Lasley is the sister of Clary, who owns the local clothing shop. Both are employed, with Lasley being the advertiser outside of her sister's shop. Now let's look at Nana. What's her schedule? Sleeping, then standing outside. I don't know about you, but that doesn't scream employed to me. I'm watching you in your sleep, Nana. You'd better get a job, Nana. What's that you say? Retirement? What's that? Olkin here owns a pumpkin farm. His schedule consists of maintaining said pumpkin farm, chilling on this bench, and sleeping. Oh, he also tramples Steen's carrot farm at night. Uh, the funny thing about that is if you confront him, he'll say he'll stop trampling them, but he still does it anyways. Very immersive. You may be rude, Olkin, but you're still employed. His wife, Melly, enjoys sleeping, tending to her pumpkin farm, and cooking in her cooking pot. Did you also know that cooking pots deal extra damage against enemy arm? And with that, the total unemployment rate in Kakariko Village for Breath of the Wild, if my math is correct, is 15.38%, which would be brought down to 8.33% if Nanan would actually get a job. Tears of the Kingdom introduces a lot of new things to Kakariko, such as obliterating Kato's hut in the name of archaeology. Let's start off things by looping back around and starting with Ollie again. He actually has a quest when you first get to Kakariko to wake him up. Upon finishing this quest, he's still sleeping. Ollie, please stop sleeping so much. Your family is worried about you. Oh, by the way, I have the HUD on deliberately so I can see what time NPCs do things. It would be nice if we had an option to have, like, only the clock showing, but oh well. We have some new travelers in Tears of the Kingdom, those being Dai, Tatsuna, Letty, and Lurda. Lurda? Lorda? Lorda. Huh? Like the travelers in Breath of the Wild, I won't count the ones here. However, researchers like Cory, I will count. She's the lady who hangs around Melly's farm and studies Sunday lions. It's assumed her and other researchers will be sticking around forever, so I'm counting her. Melly is also employed because she still has her plum garden. Bugit makes a return, but he doesn't sell items anymore. Unemployed, but I won't count him. As for Braca, she's nowhere to be seen in Kakariko. Before you ask, no, she's not dead. She took a trip up to Hateno Village to become a mushroom fanatic. Rola still owns the Curious Quiver, Clary still runs her clothing shop, and Trissa still runs High Spirits Produce. Steen and Olken still run their respective farms, and even put their differences aside for what food is superior. Finally, peace between rivals. Kotla is still too young to be employed, but 
I'm mixed on what Coco's status is. She runs a garland stand, so by definition, she is employed, but technically too young to have an official job. Eh, screw it. Employed. Dorian is still in town, but he's changed roles from guard to standing inside the chief's hut all day. D does he get paid for this? His schedule consists of visiting the graveyard with his daughters, standing inside the chief's hut, and sleeping. For three hours this time now. He now almost has a worse schedule than I do. Kato makes a return, acting as a bodyguard for Impa, so employed. Oh, his house is also destroyed, be because why not? But before it gets destroyed, he goes with Impa to scout for the Dragon Tear locations. Upon getting all the Dragon Tears, speaking to him and Impa will make them return to Kakariko. He is understandably shocked at what happened to his house, but talking to him lets us know he could literally not care less. Speaking of Impa, her job is checking out all the Dragon Tears and studying them, so employed. Paya finally has a job as Chief of Kakariko. Good job, Paya. Lasley also makes a return with advertising, where she heads to Atena when you heal Nana. This causes Nana to take her place, finally giving Nana a job. Good job, Nana. You better not get unemployed again. You know the consequences. Tears of the Kingdom introduces some new researchers that live in Kakariko. Toro, Wurtsworth, Gordy, Zaguru, Zalus, and Iba are all researchers studying the funny floating rocks above the town. There's not a lot to say about these guys, but Wurtsworth is the only one who's studying these tablet structures. And so, with that, Kakariko in Tears of the Kingdom has a 0% unemployment rate, with an average unemployment rate in both versions being 6.45%. And, well, I, I'm not sure how to end the video, other than by saying I'm going insane from having to listen to the Kakariko Village song on loop for 10 hours straight.